Flow to Marvel Snap deck highlight featuring a card that doesn't get a ton of love, but is one of my personal favorites in Stegron, a 4-6 whose on reveal moves a random enemy card at his location to another. This deck came about because Stegron does have some direct synergy with our latest card release, White Widow. The Widow's Kiss explicitly keeps that penalty of power if there is space at the location. So as long as your opponent doesn't fill up the entirety of their board, we can Stegron into the location with the Widow's Kiss on turn six, kicking something out of it and letting our Widow provide six points of power. So her plus Stegron give you a 6-12 with some utility in how things get moved around the board. The rest of this deck has a little bit of a movement sub theme. We've got Craven, who loves Stegron kicking things around as well as Angela in tandem with cards that move off of Angela, like Jeff the Baby Land Shark and Nightcrawler and Spider-Man. Spider-Man's another card that's similar to Stegron can also grab something out of that White Widow path on the last turn of the game. And then we close things out with an array of disruptive elements. I think Jean Grey is pretty solid right now. She's another effect that can help you keep that White Widow path clear to get those extra points of power. We have Red Guardian that can disable troublesome things. We have U.S. Agent who combos really cleanly with Jean Grey since your opponent's big cards are all going to be on that same path. We have Luke Cage that not only mitigates, mitigates US agents drawback on our stag round, but also just helps mitigate a lot of location variants, things like the negative zone among others. And finally, we have Mobius M Mobius, which is our I don't want to die to Loki card. At any rate, you're going to watch these games that are incredibly fun. Stegron is just a sweet card to make work and he complements our latest release in White Widow. Well, if you enjoy what you see, snap that button for the rest of the day. Enjoy. All right, come take a trip on Papa Spider-Man's Wild Ride. Any thoughts of putting Gene in the negative zone? Yeah, maybe that was better. It's a good thought. I think it's unlikely they put anything big here. I'm gonna Red Guardian here. Oh, well, Widow, Widow here, I think. Actually, do I do I Mobius this turn just in case they're a Sarah deck? Yeah, probably. Playing Red Guardian out insulates our Luke Cage against their Red Guardian, which is nice. Poor Spider Ham. Is that a US Agent win, gamers? I think that's a US Agent win, gamers. Got him! White Widow too, huh? Casual, casual two died White Widow? Nightcrawler doesn't move multiple times per game. The person suggesting we could have moved Nightcrawler again. That's not how Nightcrawler works. He moves once. Compete for the flooding. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Sucks. I think we're beating some iterations of Doctor Doom here. 
actually no. I guess it would be bad if Stegron hits to the right, so he does it every time. Are we still good? I think we're still good. Cool. It was like a worst case Stegron scenario, and it was still fine. Victory. Because we had we had Graven there to make up for it. I felt clean. It's very possible we should have an armor or a Cosmo in here somewhere. Uh, uh, supplemental free stuff like Log and Rose. Marble Snap is quite literally the most generous, successful digital card game that's ever existed. There are others that were more generous that no longer exist. Of the of the ones that are still here. Marble Snap is the most generous. I don't think it's particularly close. Play probably involves a killmonger here, so I'm gonna turn off X23. Looks pretty good too. What a game! Enough said, Bob. Think I should Mobius? I don't know about that. Oh yeah, Venom's definitely one of the best stats in the show. Some work there. Leveraged appropriately needs to be in a deck where he is part of your turn six play. Oh, I got that red crown too. Oh, giggity. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to log in and pay Mr. Brood his due. Thank you for the absurd pile of biddies. But I hide him in here so they don't know he's coming. Oh, it's me. I I want to go ahead and put Nightcrawler here alongside Mobius, so that way if they Red Guardian, Nightcrawler eats it instead of him. Uh, each stage of crown is 1,000 USD worth of bits as a point of reference. Twenty thousand bits that Giggity Gary, Giggity Gary just cheered are specifically uh, two hundred USD worth of bits. Nice. It's one of those. One of those silly capitalism things we try to avoid. I think I'm just playing Stegrod for stats here and energy efficiency. Definitely not competing in the center. Unless you're pitching crypto and then get out. Yeah, fair. So fun, fun fact slash thing to note on Spider-Man is that um, he will always move into a location where he can pull a card, meaning because they're likely to fill this this turn, Spider-Man here will be guaranteed to pull into Dark Dimension, which is what I want. Oh, wow. Okay, so now, now we have a flip. Unlucky. Raven is our best draw here. Although White Widow is honestly not bad. What do, we, what, what do we think? What do we What do we think of this? This gives me 8, 11, 
But they could also be filling here, and if they fill, I want more stats. It's just kind of a flip, yeah? Yeah, flip wrong. Kind of lucky. Would we have won if we read Guardian the left, is the question. Oh, we're short by a little bit. Wait, no, are we good? Holy crap! Luke Cage plus Gene buff. Freaking got him. Look at that. Look at that. Cage pulls the penalty off. Lucas! For 30 to 45 minutes a day doing your dailies? Go for a fucking walk while you play. Opponent snapped. If I can compete for this one. But then my neighbors will see me raging. Completely and entirely unironically. Exercising while you play Marvel Snap will likely make it easier to be less upset. Because exercising chat makes your brain happy. It gives you endorphins. I tried going outside once, the graphics were great, but the story was crappy and it was very pay to win. That's all true, honestly. This, and then we can US Agent here for a big penalty next turn. his buff didn't matter there. There's definitely games where it does, but like that one, it didn't. Never, never good. Never good when the site says 20 plus chat. over here. We might make a bunch of friends here on, uh, on Bar Sinister. Pass. Be an Iolus. Yeah, but all the Widow's Bites are gonna be zero, so an Iolus doesn't kick them across. They're definitely an Iolus deck. They're just not gonna be able to use that to clear the bar. That's a 613 Red Hulk. Gene this turn. Well, I guess they're filling the right, so it doesn't matter. Six twenty one, sorry. 
We be we're beating all of you. Doesn't matter. Victory. Let's play for all three. It was a battle of wits, and I came out on top. My brain was huge, and Jeff Oakland was proven to be nothing more than the slobbering man-child we know him to be here in the Reddit catacombs. It's almost like you've been to Reddit before, unfortunately. Unfortunately, once or twice. I think I'm Mobius in the dark here. Catches poor people. This beats Red Hulk. Two. Victory. That's all. Snap the like button if you'd be so kind and check back in again tomorrow for another highlight.